morning, Saturday the 30th, 13th of April, and the season is drawing to its conclusion. So there's only three more videos I'm going to do this season, starting with today. Uh, should be an attractive tie. Derby County, second in the league, under Fort Paul Warren, going for automatic promotion, with a penultimate home game against 10th place Leighton Orient who since promotion last season have had a pretty good season under Richie Wellens so it should be a stern test for the Rams they're expecting about 30,000 in the stadium today and it's a lovely stadium Pride Park I've been a few times early start as usual and I think I've taken a bit of a risk today because uh, I've not got my big winter coat on like I normally do so I've just got a fleece jacket on but they, they did say that there's going to be no rain today, so I'm going to have to trust them. And the sun's coming out, so I should be okay. City Plaza, seated area, by the Brian Clough and Peter Taylor statue. Now, for the uninitiated, and obviously people that weren't born at that time, Derby County and Brian Clough and Peter Taylor were the start of an amazing journey. Uh, they won the first division, which is now the Premier League title, in 1969 and 1975 which were unheard of at a club of Derby's size and then uh, he fell out with the Derby management and moved first to Brighton but then to Nottingham Forest where he won the European Cup now the Champions League twice so he was bordering on genius as a manager of a club but he wasn't uh, a yes man for the FA so he never got the England manager's job Anyway, history lesson over. Welcome to the magnificent Pride Park. It's hosted England internationals. It's a superb ground, a really good venue to watch football. No bad views in the stadium. And I'm really looking forward to taking my seat this afternoon. Uh, as I've said, Derby are going for automatic promotion into the championship, which they've been uh, I think it's the second season in League One. And they're taking on Leighton Orient, who after promotion from League Two last season have had a really, really good season. And so currently sit in 10th place, which is a good achievement. And Richie Wellens is a very good manager. Down to the club shop, where I'm really pleased to say that they'll do a programme. Which is unlike a lot of other lower division clubs, but Derby are Derby, aren't they? Also, they've got a branch of Greg's, which idiotically is not open on match days, it would be a gold mine. But I know the club shop's down here somewhere, so I'm going to get myself a programme. It's only about, what, 25 minute walk into the town centre, well, city centre, and it's a hell of a uh, venue. People starting to walk up and down there. Probably like me, football tourists. But you can't beat it, can you? Burger vans everywhere. They're open. So you'd think Greg's could earn the club a bit of money, but no. Very surprised, really. But there's plenty of places to eat and drink here. There's a subway just across the road there. I'll show you in a minute. Well, 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 Craig's is open. I am very surprised and delighted actually. But when, the last time I came, which was around September time, Greg's weren't open on match days. Oh, I'm in there. I'll get me programme first from the club shop. I what the prices are like. Just normal ones, I hope. And there's the subway I was talking you, telling you about. And just around the corner here is an ATM and the club shop.
which is now there's a sale on. Fortunately, I'm not uh, I'm not a Rams fan, so I won't be buying anything. Only a program. So I shall see you later, guys. And here we are at Pride Park inside the ground. Wow, superb stadium. And look at the view I've got. Just behind one of the goals. Superb uh, view of the action. Unfortunately, I'll be the only one that watches it because I'm going to be careful. I may as well practice for next season when content creator, creators will be under the microscope with uh, filming match footage, which I don't intend to do. It's a shame because I enjoy doing it, but I'm not running the uh, risk of getting uh, our station took down. But wow, what a stadium and what a seat. I'm absolutely chuffed with it. If Portsmouth beat Bolton today and Derby win, Derby are all but promoted. I don't think they'll be able to catch Portsmouth for the championship, for the title. But I think they'll, uh, they'll go up as runners up. Which Paul Warren's quite used to, because he's done it twice before with Rotherham, so... Uh, yep, it's all set for a decent, uh, decent game today, because I think Orient, although they've got nothing to play for, They've got contracts and professional pride and they've had a very good season. So I think there'll be a stern test for the Rams. So I'm going to, my itinerary will be, I'll be back when the teams come out and the crowd builds up a little bit. Uh, they say they're going to be above 30,000 here today, I wouldn't be surprised. And uh, half and full time summaries, uh, goal flashes, and uh, just the normal stuff. They're just watering the pitch now. And I said there was a bit of rain in the air a few minutes ago. But it might suit to Derby's uh, style of play. So I shall see you later, guys. It's Skybet League One, Derby County versus Leighton Orient. Derby County have put all these little flags out to wave when the teams come out. I mean, I don't, I don't agree with me, they're not my team, but uh, it's a good touch by the club. Uh, a good souvenir of the day, really. And also, a programme which is brilliant. So much to read. I'm a big advocate of programmes at football grounds. And uh, to make it a hat trick of good things, I won a pint of Carlin on a scratch card thing. So it seems to be my day today. A good, a good seat. Looking forward to a decent game and uh, a program and a flag and a pint of Carlin. Yeah, brilliant. I put that there just so my flag don't uh, waver. Because there's a swirly wind blowing, which might have an effect on proceedings. Uh, players are just warming up now. It's about what 35 minutes to kick off time. Um, I think Derby fans must come in late. Just I won't say there were 5,000 in the stadium yet. Uh, the Orient fans in that corner there, uh, surrounded by stewards, nearly as many stewards as these Orient fans. So uh, I shall see you near a kick off time. The half hour and Derby still comfortably in control of this. Playing some really good football and uh, it could it could be well well in excess of 2-0. Uh, even now, just Derby are continuing to pile the pressure on and um, Orient look creaky at the back. Um, I'd be surprised if this ends 2-0. Derby are so much in control. So on the yeah, like I said, on the half hour. Derby County 2, Leighton Orient now. Just in the last of three minutes added time at the end of the first half and Derby still well in control of this. Um, Orient have tried to come back a couple of times. Galbraith's had an effort that hit his own player. Um, but as an attacking force they've just been nothing this afternoon. And so uh, 
just coming up to half time and can't see anything other than a home win. Atmosphere has gone down a bit since the two early goals, but defenders uh, Wilson and Bradley scored the goals, both from corners, wicked, wickedly uh, lobbed in by Sibley. They've had one or two more half chances, but they're well in control of this. And it's going to take the half time team talker all time from Richie Wellens to get them back into this. So we've we're in, we're in the fourth minute to three minutes at a time. So, I'm going to call this now for half time. Derby County 2, Lake Orient 0. On the hour now, and it's still Derby 2, Lake Orient 0. But Orient have shown a bit this half. Uh, Ford came close with a terrific bit of skill. Uh, cut him on his left foot and curled a shot that were deflected for a corner. Um, they've had one or two more promising positions that they haven't capitalised on. But Derby themselves have come close with uh, Mendes Lang hitting an effort just wide. So, yeah, I would say Derby still comfortably in control of this. But it only takes a late Norian goal to change the picture. But I don't think it's going to happen. Derby, the crowd's been a little bit quiet over the last 10 minutes or so. I think a third goal for Derby. It's nearly happened then. But blocked by the keeper. Adams went through one on one and the keeper won the race. But yeah, Derby still in control. So yeah, 61 minutes gone. It's Derby County 2, late Norwich now. The game wrapped up. Uh, with four minutes to go, Sonny Bradley's second goal of the game. This time ahead of from a corner. No more than Derby deserve, really. <laughs> They've been uh, very good uh, uh, this afternoon. Orient's come back into it a little bit uh, during the second half, but uh, Derby always well in control. So I think it's going to be three points in the promotion push for Derby. Sonny Bradley unchallenged. Uh, in, for the uh, header at the back post. He's been in rock at the back, but he's, he's chipped in with two goals as well, which is exceptional. He had an exceptional performance. So, with what, three minutes to go, plus added time, I can't see Orient getting back into this at all. Uh, they're making substitutions now, Derby. Um, giving some of the players game time. So, I think I could call this now, really. Unless there's any more goals, obviously. But the Rams well in control, 3-0 up. But, like I said, Orient had a disastrous first half. Second half have improved immensely. They didn't come out till late. I think Richie Williams will give him a giving him a bit of a rollicking. But Derby always had that gear that could go up, and they're looking very well set for promotion to the championship. Um, Thirty thousand here today, which is incredible. You wouldn't get that in the third tier in any other league. Thirty thousand for a tier three game is incredible, and the sun's out. Derby fans are enjoying themselves and yeah so I'm going to call this now it might not be the final score and if it isn't I will amend it but I'm going to call it now Derby County 3, Leighton Orient 0